So I've decided I'm going to add some LED lights to my photo frame clock here. And my idea is that uh, I'm going to have the LEDs behind the picture um, of Milu here. And I want to have the LED strips stuck onto the back of this frame. So they're hidden by the photograph in a square, uh, connected in series, so one strip after the other. Um, and uh, the, the start of the LED strip, I'm going to have the positive and negative terminals connected to a wire, which is going to go through a hole, which I'm going to make in the, the backboard of the clock. And then I'm going to be able to wire the positive through a switch. And then the negative and the positive will then go to a button battery to provide power. Um, so that's the idea. And uh, what I'm going to do is bring across the CAD file that I had for my clock so far. And I'm going to modify this a little bit. So let's just have a look at what I'm going to do here. Let's go to media. Um, I think what I'm going to do is select all of this. And uh, with gridlock turned on, of course, I'm going to take this to, oh, let me just make sure I get that dimension line there as well. Let's just take this off to the side. So I'll have that safe. I'm going to leave that right there. And then I'm going to take from this what I want to work with in terms of the backboard. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to take all of this. Let's do that. And then, well, had I got all these? Ah, look, they're, they're not, they're all individual parts here. Okay, right, fair enough. So actually thinking about this, I don't need that. So I'm going to select all of those clock elements. I'm going to go to Edit and Group or Control G. Okay, so now I can just select that as one unit like that. That's good. Um, and then now if I just select the whole of the clock and then shift select on that grouped clock face, then control C, copy that, control V, paste, and I'm going to bring this down to here. Okay, so that's my, this is going to be my backing plate. This is, these are going to be my holes where I'm going to have my little aluminum spaces and and hex-headed bolts to hold the whole frame together. And I've got my photo uh, frame over here. I don't really want to have the hatched background here. What I really want to have here, I think, uh, is to make that no fill. Um, and I'm gonna make the line color there black because I don't want that to uh, engrave. But I am going to get a, a line tool. Let's just come to the attach tool, although it is on the grid, but I didn't have to use it because it's on the grid, but I'll use the attach tool just to snap across across there and my thinking is that I want to identify the center point of the uh, photo frame and then here I'm going to add a hole for the wires to pass through. So let's come to the circle tool. Let's just actually bring this across here. Let's come to the circle tool. Go with a circle that has a radius of let's say now I don't want to have a massive hole. I'm going to have a hole five millimeters in diameter. So 2.5 millimeters in radius and I'm going, to, I'm going to have that hole in blue because I want to cut it out and I'm going to pop that hole right there. So now if I just zoom in again on what I want to work with, okay, that's looking good. So I'm going to have the blue cut out for uh, cutting out the wooden frame. I've got the holes there for the, for the bolts and I've got a little hole here for the wires to pass through. Uh, I'm going to select the frame here and I'm going to make sure that frame comes to the top to front of the drawing so that's the last thing that's going to be laser cut which means that I'll do all my internal hole cutouts first. Okay so that's ready to go. I'm going to send that to the laser cutter and then I'm going to come back and uh, show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm back from the laser cutter. Let's just minimize my CAD file here. And uh, and this is what I've got. There's my piece of... Uh, well, I've, I've gone with um, a bamboo veneered piece of MDF here. Um, and this is the top layer that was that was cut. And uh, this is the bottom layer. And you can see there's a bit of damage here on the bottom layer from where... In fact, does that wipe off? But actually, looking at this, yeah, you see it does deliver a bit of a damaged edge there, which is interesting. Just wiping that away there. Um, trying to think which is the best side to work from. I'm probably going to work from this side here, even though as well here it's slightly damaged. I think I'm going to go to the uh, to the sink and just give this a wipe with a damp paper cloth and just see what happens in terms of this finish. So I've just given that a wipe with the damp cloth and I'm absolutely amazed. Uh, actually, that, that's looking so, so cool on both sides. I couldn't really tell you which was the top and which was the bottom. I think that's the bottom there. And something else I did here as well as I put some card. When I laser cut this, I put some white card underneath and and that stops the, the, the beam from, um, from, from 
what's the phrase I'm looking for, from sparking against the metal mesh that supports the laser cutter table, um, if that's the right way to phrase it. So actually, I think, yeah, that's really, really nice. And let's, at this point, I was going to keep the protective plastic on until the last minute because, uh, well, I wanted to keep the plastic as clean as possible, but you know what? I'm going to peel this off now and then just see how this is starting to look. So you can see from behind, pop that in the bin, you can see from behind here it's not looking too great with all of those engravings with the, with the wax crayon. But if I look at it from the front, that's starting to look quite nice now. That's going to be spaced off here. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. It wants to be that way around. And you know what? I've forgotten to do something really, really important here. I've just realized I've forgotten to put the clock mechanism hole. Ay, 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 ay. So look, what I should have done in here. There I am rushing ahead, you see. What I should have done is put the clock mechanism in here. So look, I'm going to do that right now. Let's just, uh, let's see, pick up this. Deary, deary me. Pick up this design here. I've got a grid lock turned on. Let's just zoom out a little bit here so we can make sure everything's in the right place. Let's pull this down so it wants to be coming down to that point there. And then uh, now let's come to the circle tool. This wants to have a radius of five millimeters and oh, let's, it's in blue, yeah that's perfect, let's drop that in here and then all I need to do now is pick up this design again gridlock's turned on, pull it back out of the draw, of the of the laser, of the drawing area <laughs> what am I trying to say? and that now is in the right place for me to do the clock mechanism so actually what I can do, I've still got the frame of wood from laser cutting this so I'm going to put that back in the laser cutter using the frame as a kind of jig and then just drop in the hole there for my clock mechanism and then we'll just make sure it's all okay okay so a hole for the clock mechanism and I think that looks fine that looks really really cool okay so I'm gonna go with that and in the next video I'm going to have a look at adding in the LED lights and then soldering it all together um, and uh, doing the electronics on the back See you then, see you then.